Hello, welcome to the Moto Press YouTube channel. I'm Valerie, and this is a quick update for those of you using the Events Calendar plugin. We've got something new that you love. In this video, I'll show you the new import and export feature, which has been available since version 1.1. We'll guide you on how to export your calendar events into an iCalendar ICS file and how to manually import events from external iCalendar files, such as those from platforms like Google Calendar. So let's dive in and see how all these new features work. First, in your WordPress dashboard, go to the Plugins menu and make sure you've updated the plugin to version 1.1. Once that's done, navigate to Calendar. You'll now see a new menu item called Import and Export. That's what we're going to use today. But before we dive in, I want to show you the events I've already created. So I head over to the events menu. As you can see, I've already created two calendars, each with different types of events. And now I'll show you how to export them in just a couple of clicks. So let's go back to import and export. Here we have three tabs import export and history right now the history tab is empty since i haven't used this feature yet on this site and all right let's start with the export tab exporting events couldn't be easier you just need to select the calendars you want to export by clicking the boxes all calendars are selected by default, which is super convenient if you have a lot of them. But if you only need one specific calendar, just uncheck them all, then select the one you want. And in my case, I'm going to export all of my calendars. The last step, just click export. That's it. The ISC file is now in my downloads folder. Now let's switch over to the History tab to double check that everything was exported successfully. Here we are, you'll see five columns and one of them is called Log. Click Show to view more detailed information. Well, everything looks great. All the events were exported without any issues. Now let's do the opposite. We're going to import events into the events calendar. As an example, I'll use events from Google Calendar. First, I open settings by clicking the gear icon in the top right corner of the Google Calendar. At this stage, we recommend checking the time zone your calendar is using, just to avoid any surprises later. Next, on the left-hand side, I click Import and Export. From there, I can download my calendar. It only takes a couple of seconds. Perfect. Now that we've got the file I need, I head back to my WordPress dashboard and switch to the Import tab. Here, we see a notice about the time zone that I've already mentioned. It says that your WordPress site has a default time zone setting. Now, if you import events and those events were created in a different time zone, WordPress doesn't automatically adjust them based on that time zone. Instead, it forces all imported event files to follow the site's time zone. As a result, the event might show up at the wrong time on your site. To avoid confusion, either convert all event times 
in your import file to match your site's time zone before importing, or consider changing your WordPress time zone to match the time zone used in your import file. I hope that my explanation is clear and we can move on to the first perimeter you should decide on when importing. The first setting you'll want to look at is the event update mode. This determines what happens if the calendar you're importing from contains events that already exist in your WordPress calendar. You'll see two options. The first one, do not modify existing events with imported data. Choose this if you want to keep your current events exactly as they are, even if the iCal file contains updates or changes. This is the safest option when you already customized events in WordPress. You want to add only new events from the import without touching the ones already there, or if you're unsure if the imported data is up to date. In short, existing events stay untouched, only new ones get added. The second option, update existing events with changes found in the imported data. Pick this if you want WordPress to check for matching events and replace their details with the new data from the iCal file. Choose this if you regularly sync with another calendar, like Google Calendar, for example. If you want to keep events consistent across platforms, or if you trust the data in the iCalendar file and want to overwrite older versions. This option helps you keep things up to date automatically. If you're not sure which to pick, start with do not modify. You can always re-import with the other setting if needed. Next up is the add to calendar option. From this drop down, you can either choose an existing calendar from your site, maybe you've already set up for a specific topic, or event series, or you can leave it unselected. If you don't pick anything, no worries, a new calendar will automatically be created for your imported events. You also have the option to add a category and tag to your events during import. This is super helpful for keeping things organized, especially if you already use categories and tags across your site. Just choose from the ones you already have and all your new events will come neatly labeled. But if you don't have the right category or tag yet, or you don't use them at all, that's totally fine. You can simply skip this step and your events will still be imported without any issues. Once all that's set, click Choose File, select your ICS file from your computer, and then hit Open. You are now just one click away. Go ahead and press Import. After the process completes, you'll see a message that says Events successfully imported. That's your cue to jump over to your events calendar and check out your shiny new entries. So now let's head over to the Events section. And look at that. Since I didn't choose an existing calendar during import, a new calendar was automatically created. It's called Imported Events. But no worries, you can rename it anytime to something that makes more sense for your site. And just like that, the events from my Google Calendar are now visible right here in my WordPress Events calendar. For good measure, 
Let's take a peek at the history tab. This gives you a detailed report of what was imported, event by event. You can double check that everything came through just the way you expected. Now I'm going to import the events we created in the WordPress dashboard into my Google Calendar. To do this, I just select the file from my computer, the same one we exported earlier in this video. Then I click Import. OK, all the events are now imported. Let's check the calendar. Yes, it worked. All the events from the dashboard are now showing up in my Google Calendar. Now let's head back to the dashboard and I'll quickly show you how to rename the imported calendar. If it's visible on your site, you might want to give it a more descriptive name. Just click the three dots, choose rename and come up with the name that makes sense. Next, I want to show you an alternative option, how to import events into an existing calendar. First, I'll delete the calendar I just imported, because I want those Google events to appear in a calendar I already use. So, from the drop-down, I select the calendar I want, add a tag if needed, and hit Import. Let's check the result. Perfect! The events are right where they should be. As you can see, the process is fast and easy. Now let's talk about who might benefit from the Import and Export feature in the WordPress events calendar plugin. If you run multiple WordPress sites, say you can export events from one and import them into another. So you don't need to recreate anything manually. Instead of adding events one by one, you can import an iCal file with multiple entries. It's super handy when you're migrating from another plugin or platform, or uh, when you get event info from another team or a third-party tool. Or, for example, if you're onboarding a seasonal batch of events, like festivals or course schedules. Moreover, many plugins support iCal or Google Calendar feeds, which means you can import public Google Calendar events into your WordPress calendar. On top of that, you can export your events so others can subscribe to them in Outlook, uh, Apple Calendar, or Google Calendar. What's more, exporting your events gives you a backup. Helpful if you're switching themes, updating plugins, or just want peace of mind. You can always re-import them if needed. Last but not least, if you're part of a network like a citywide arts organization, academic department, or event collective, you can share your calendar as an exportable feed. You can also import other events into your own calendar to keep everything visible in one place. So, to sum up, the Import and Export Events feature can be useful for a lot of users, especially for busy organizers, community sites, or anyone managing multiple calendars. And that's a wrap on the new features in the WordPress Events Calendar. Syncing with the calendar apps, managing events across multiple sites, or simply looking for a quick way to back things up, we're sure import and export feature will definitely make your life easier. If you found this walkthrough helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button 
We've got more tips, updates, and tutorials coming your way. And if you got questions or want to share how you're using the calendar, drop a comment below. We love hearing from you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.